Hey everybody, today I will teach you how to draw the human figure. And what you'll need for that is a pencil, try to find yourself an eraser, and a piece of paper. So when you're drawing the human figure, know that there are all kinds of people out there. So if yours doesn't look exactly like mine, do not worry, okay? First, I should probably sharpen this pencil. So let me do that. <laughs> Okay, to start off with the human, the most important thing to think about are the main shapes that make up the body before we add the small details. So I'll start with an oval. I'm drawing very lightly. If I press down too hard too quickly, I won't be able to erase my pencil lines later. Notice the size of this oval is not teeny tiny like a speck on the of sand in the, at the beach. It's pretty large. I can fit almost all of my thumb inside. That's a great measuring tool. Another cool measuring tool is, does your eraser almost fit inside? Then you could use that as a method as well. After that, one finger in between, two lines there for the neck. You could draw them any way you'd like. Number 11 or two slightly curved short lines for part of the neck there. And I like to add the clothes as I begin. So I will put the shirt where the neck comes out of the shirt with a curved line. You could also choose a different neckline if you want, such as the scoop neck or the letter V. You could draw a wiggly squiggly line. So you get to design the shirt opening where the head goes. Okay, so that's all up to you. After that, figure out the size of the torso area. You get to choose how long or how narrow or how wide it is. It's all up to you. For this one, I will give a rectangular shape and I'll stop where the armpits go, like right about there. Again, it's almost all of the rectangle, but not all of it. You could do this in a number of ways. You could draw two circles curve down or you could just curve a line down it's up to you after that part connect those shapes to make them instead of sticks make them shapes add another oval if you want a joint I think I'll bend this arm here and it's up to you again hmm how will that look and add an oval shape for the arms or the hands, okay? When you're happy with what you see, you can erase the middle sections. And again, this will all change when we decorate our human figure with the clothes and add who this person is. We did not add the legs yet. I might choose to draw a little set of small rectangles. I don't know, you figure that part out. And for the pants, I'm going to draw two rectangle shapes, Oop, a stopping point, rectangle over here. And this person is really posing for us. There are the ankles, two oval shapes for feet. This one is striking a pose. I'll draw some line on the ground. And this is where the fun begins. Okay, we drew our figure. He struck a pose. Or she, we still don't know because there's no hair, no facial features. We're going to think about adding some medium sized details to set the location, to give the setting of where this is taking place. So we'll draw one line for the ground and watch the second video. Okay, and again, you could have the pose much different. You could have arms in the air, in pockets, something else completely. Go for that, okay? All right, so watch the second video next. 